Beautiful. There we go. Look at that. That was like 30 seconds. That's pretty good. Stop. Clear. Okay. Hey, hey guys. guys, I'm Tandrina and I'm Talia. Welcome back to another episode of Tea Tales. Where we bring you today's tea tales for tomorrow's use. Yes. We are so excited to be with you guys yeah. today on this lovely Tuesday evening, actually. You guys should, will be seeing this on Wednesday morning. Yes. Um, and if you're, you've made it this far, you know that we're trying something a little different on our channel this week. Um, so we're going to jump right into the news so we can keep this video as short as short sweet. and sweet. All right, guys, so some crazy stuff has been happening in the world. We're going to start with our international news. And the first story we have is about ISIS. Not surprisingly, but unfortunately, they did attack a mosque in Mosul. Now, this mosque has been around for centuries. Mm -hmm. So it's a big piece of history that was Major lost landmark. with mm -hmm. the destruction, I'm sorry, of this mosque. We don't believe anyone was injured. There have been no reports of injuries, but it is really sad that they did attack the mosque. They tried to blame it on the United States and right. the airstrikes that they've been doing, but it really was not our fault at all. Yeah, video does show that um, the, the bomb actually exploded from within the mosque. So there's yes. no way that it, was, it could have been America. Jumping right into our next story, Pakistan unfortunately suffered a major incident of its own yeah. where an oil truck exploded. Um, the driver apparently lost control of the vehicle after a tire popped. And since oil is so precious in that country, a bunch of people ran over to kind of Scoot get up. as much as they can. And the truck did explode <clears throat> in, the, in the middle of that. About 150 people were killed. Yeah. And I'm sure much more were injured. Um, there is no um, idea as to what could have caused the explosion, but since they are celebrating Eid at this time, um, people think that a cigarette may have been right. um, lit and that could have caused the explosion. Another unfortunate event that happened was in China, <coughs> excuse me, in the Sichuan area, there was a major, major landslide and that, I'm sorry, hundreds of homes were destroyed. Mm -hmm. 10 people have died so far. About 90 people are still missing. It's unsure whether they're dead or alive. They are still doing a lot of efforts to try and find these people. So keep trying to end your prayers. Something super interesting, Amazon has purchased Whole Foods. So Amazon is Crazy. definitely on the come up. I don't know about you guys, but we are massive Whole Foods fans. Yes. Um, and I'm excited to see what this is going to bring to Hopefully the both companies flourish, man. Honestly. Speaking of big companies, Google. Google tried it. They were trying to promote themselves illegally. They have been fined 2.42 billion euros, not dollars, euros, That's by crazy. the European Commission because what happened was when you would search for items, they would use their... Um, Oh, what's it called? Shopping. There we go. They would use their shopping companies as opposed to other companies, which apparently is illegal mm -hmm. in Europe. Now, also, Google has been scanning our emails. If you didn't know, now you know. They do right. that in order to promote ads, so they tailor the ads to your liking. Your interests, right? right? Now, businesses have stopped signing up for Gmail because of this, because they don't want their Gmails read or I'm sorry emails scan through mm -hmm. so Google decided to stop doing this they will no longer be scanning emails and tailoring the ads to you through your emails because they want the business from the businesses something we found crazy shocking was that President Obama apparently knew about Putin's efforts to disrupt the elections that occurred last November when Obama's team was approached about it, they did say that it was because they didn't want to come off as trying to sway the election in any way, which I can understand, but I can't help but give President Obama a side eye. Apparently, he had done a little things um, to take care of the issue anyways, <coughs> such as signing something that would release cyber weapons um, into Russia's database, and Putin had been warned on several occasions by the White House to kind of cut it out. Let's see where this goes. Now, what we have here is dealing with the Supreme Court. So if you guys have heard about this so-called travel ban from mm -hmm. Trump, which you have covered multiple times before, well, guess what? The Supreme Court has actually said okay to some of this travel ban. Well, not exactly. <clears throat> part of it. Yeah, they okayed part of it. Yeah, but they're just letting some of it go through. Yeah, yeah. We're going to find out more information in detail in October because the Supreme Court actually did go into vacation just recently. Right. Um, they're going to be out for the summer. So we'll get more information when they come back, but you will start seeing some of the effects sooner rather than later. Only yeah. some of it 
is going through. Yeah, the six <clears throat> countries that are on the ban list um, are still technically not allowed to come into the country unless it's for family or job purposes. Right. So the Affordable Health Care Act, I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about it. The new revised edition that was released shows that in approximately 10 years, 22 million people around will be without health care, which is ridiculous. Crazy. Nowhere near the amount of people without health care in the United States currently. So a lot of GOP members actually refuse to sign the bill that <clears throat> looks as detrimental as that one right and um it looks like they're gonna have to go back to the drawing board with that one so i'm Crazy. interested to see what they come up with next hopefully they come up with something better mm. moving on we have a sad story about emmett till so his <clears throat> i'm sorry marker which is kind of like a landmark in mississippi was vandalized now it has been vandalized two times in the last two months and the damages actually need repair this time. It's damaged so much so well they will have to take some time to fix it. What ended up happening this time is they took off all the pictures and writing that had information about Emmett Till and his death on the back of the marker, which is very unfortunate. The owner, I'm sorry, the caretaker, Hammonds, I believe his name is, did comment on this and you can see his comments. We'll leave a link down below. Yeah. But very unfortunate. Now we're moving on to hot Tea. We have a lot hot for tea, you. Hot tea, hot tea, hot tea. Because you're going to take it away tea, on the tea, Bill Cosby tea. story. It looks like we can never say enough about this Bill Cosby incident. Crazy. So while Bill Cosby is off on bail this time, while he's waiting for his retrial to occur, he is going to be hosting town hall style meetings mm -hmm. where he will be meeting <laughs> with people such as young athletes and even married men to explain how to avoid being accused for sexual assault. I found this very amusing. I don't know why, but I also found it funny. And it's great that he's doing this. Yes. But if you're guilty, anyway. Maybe this is an effort to make him look like Pressing less forward. Mm -hmm. Rihanna. Very short story, but Rihanna might have a bae. So y'all men out there who feeling for her, I'm sorry, she might be out the market. Who knows if she's into open relationships, but she was seen with a man making out in her um, jacuzzi on her trip to Spain most recently. I think it was actually today. So we'll see what happens. Maybe she's, maybe she's beta. I support it, girl. I just need to know who it is. I just need to know who it is. Cause you know, you tried it with Leonardo DiCaprio that one time. Oh, true, yeah, true, true. I mean, I love me some Leo, but just not for you, boo. Anyway, congrats to boys to men. They got a street named after them in Philadelphia. Yeah, how exciting. Right? All of my side eye that Obama didn't get, John McEnroe is getting today because the male tennis player actually said he would never call Serena one of the best tennis players because apparently he thinks that she isn't that good and that if she were to play against male players, she would be never number 700 in the game. Crazy. Serena Williams is lit. Yes, yeah, Serena did respond to the oh, comments with a very whack response. We will leave a picture right here for you guys. However, girl, girl. if you want me to come for his life, I got you. So, I'll leave him that Bible verse. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you guys watch the BET Awards, the Migos crew, gang, artist, group, there we go, group, right? They were getting made fun of a lot because of the interview that they went through and you couldn't really understand what they were saying. Very hilarious. But in even bigger news, they were about to fight Joe Budden. Now, I'm not sure why. I don't know if that information is out yet. The beef is real though, because in mm. the video, they were about to, oh, he was gonna get gone. Oh, Lord. The Diddy movie has come out today. Yes. Go check it out if you're a huge Diddy fan. I know we are about to be on it. On and popping. And speaking of television, Pretty Little Liars is coming to an end today. Yes. After seven seasons, the cast members are saying goodbye to this very dramatic television <gasps> show. Seven years. I grew up watching Pretty Little Liars. Seriously. That's really crazy. Seriously. Let All us know right. down below if you guys are going to miss it. <laughs> So, if you like Russell Westbrook, if you don't like Russell Westbrook, your bae or wife probably does. <laughs> he was given a lot of kudos from the ladies because he shouted out his wife during his acceptance speech for the NBA Award for Most Valuable Player. Now, this was the first NBA Awards and he was the first person to receive this award, yet the women seem to be most happy about his speech. Right? Everybody, instead of um, Steph Curry, is now going to be looking for a new Russell, Russell Westbrook. Ooh, yes. Alrighty, and that is all we have for you guys today. 
thank you so much for tuning in and guys be sure to leave this give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this leave us a comment down below yes. and subscribe to our channel the big red button down we'll below see you soon thanks